Hello and welcome once again to my YouTube channel, Microsoft Power Tools, where you learn everything about analytics, automation, and productivity. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how you can move a form that you've created for yourself. Meanwhile, you believe it is meant for your team or unit. How can you move it from you know, your personal Microsoft Teams um, list to the group so that it's accessible to everyone and of course it's going to be accessible within the SharePoint site. Uh, you can have access to real-time data being dropped on the Excel that is attributed to it and so many other benefits that comes with Microsoft Forms for Group. If you want to know more about Forms for Group, I will recommend you click on the link right here. Um, you can see that popping up right now. Or you also check the video description, you see the link to that video. That was what I released the last time. All right, to achieve this, I would like to state two things. Number one, I've logged in here to our advanced form page. So this is our advanced. And this is also the Teams group, Microsoft um, SharePoint site for our Teams. And you can see the document library, you see the files that are here. This is Meetup Form 2 and this is group form for meetup these are the excel file which are attributed to every forms that are meant for group for example meetup for meetup form 2 is under meetup and when i open it up you'll be able to see the way it appears while it's been opened up i also want to open up this which is for the advance so you can see this is the form and while you see forms here, you can also see Meetup, meaning these particular forms belong to Office 365 group. So that's what it means. And um, right here, this is individual. That's why you can see the name there. Okay, so I'm also going to open it up so that you see the difference. Now, when it is individual, you only see forms here that can take you back to the form. But when it is for a team, a group, you will see forms and you also see the group that it belongs to. More also, when you look at the responses, you will see that the Excel is one that is real time, is in the cloud, and get updated. But for personal, depending on how you create it, if you create by just going to forms and you get it created by default, it's going to have this icon which shows that this form, this Excel can only be downloaded. It's not synchronizing to any cloud service. All right. So for this one, I'm just going to fill one time and submit, right? So that we know the responses right here on this form. And for you to assess them, you have to download. Okay. So we have two things. I have my SharePoint site, which is group. Meanwhile, this particular SharePoint site is connected to a Teams, which is Meetup on my Microsoft Teams channel, Meetup. All right. So... And we only have two people there, but it's a group, all right? You can see that here. How do I then move a personal form to a Teams? When I click on this button here, this is my personal form, which is service rating. If I click on it, and I'm going to click on move. When I click on moved, I will see several, you know, groups that, can, that belong to, but I want to move it to Meetup. So I click on Meetup, I'm going to click on move. Taking a few seconds, right now you see service rating, it is now inside the meetup team. When I click on it, that group, you will see it takes me to group forms, meetup, and I can see the three forms that are there. Remember, it's still here. So I gotta close this. And back here, I can see warm responses. Yep. So let me click on it to open it up. Do you observe now forms and meetup? But when I come to my SharePoint site, I mean, the data is not yet here. Let's come here again and see the responses. But you can see now, it has changed from offline that you have to download to something that's synchronizing online. But we don't have it yet here. I just have to open it up. When I click to open online, when I come back here, you will see it's going to drop here when I refresh. It's opening my Excel sheet. It's going to open an Excel sheet online unlike downloading to your system before and when i come to my sharepoint if i refresh i should also see this new excel backend 
I have it right here, service rating, few seconds ago. So every member of this team can have access to it. And beside that, you know, it is real time now. When people fill the form, you can connect so many things to this Excel. You can run automation, link it to Power Automate. And more also, you can run your analysis, you know, being proactive, run the analysis and later people start filling and you can see the result. All right. So I've come to the end of how you can actually move a form that you created using your personal account to a team's group where more than you can have access to it and people can actually, you know, work with it and run analysis even while people are still dropping uh, or filling the form. Thank you and bye for now.